Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are talking about weight gain on carnivore. Now this video is the direct result of a poll that I popped up in my community tab on my YouTube channel and this topic was voted the highest by my subscribers so here we are. Weight gain when first going carnivore can happen for many reasons so I thought I would share my personal experience with you today to give you a bit of an insight into some of the reasons why this could happen to you. So when I personally first started carnivore, I came to it as a very petite person of five foot two weighing around 49 kilos. I also came from a history of extreme fat and energy restriction, uh, a lot of binge restrict behaviors and some traits of orthorexic or disordered eating. My main purpose in going carnivore was not at all to lose weight. It was the pursuit to get out of pain from a chronic medical condition I have, to address some hormonal imbalances, and also to look at bettering my relationship with food. My first video on my channel, which is called My Journey to Carnivore, that details a little more of that experience if you'd like to check it out. So I was into my first couple of weeks of carnivore, starting to get through adaptation, understand a little bit more about the diet, how to nourish and feed my body. And I noticed, because I was that person who loved to step on the scales practically daily, uh, that the numbers were creeping up ever so slowly. And week upon week upon week, they continued to tick up and up and up. And I will freely admit right now that that really played havoc with my headspace, seeing that number just go up and up, particularly as I'd come from a history of extreme yo-yo dieting, very controlling behavior around my food, around my exercise, around my feeding times. Uh, like I said, there was definitely some disordered eating, which Carnival really shone a spotlight on. I really wasn't aware of it until... I went through the process of getting fat adapted and getting used to the carnivore diet. I was diving down all the rabbit holes that we do online, you know, looking at Facebook carnivore pages, uh, other YouTube channels, and, you know, seeing all these amazing things about, you know, body recomp and weight loss on carnivore. And, you know, everyone having a grand old time and I couldn't understand for me why the scales were going in another direction. and. I was starting to feel really quite upset and a little bit disenchanted. And to be fair, my goal, like I said, coming to Carnival was not weight loss. However, seeing everybody else talk about it and the numbers on the scale going up for me, it really um, it did impact my headspace. Having been a formerly morbidly obese, very sick human being, I really did have the, the thought and the terror in the back of my mind that I could potentially be going back to that space. And I think that was part of the reason why I found it quite distressing. What I started to see in the pages that I found a little bit, I guess, comforting is that I wasn't alone and that other people, and it seemed to be predominantly women, were experiencing the exact thing that I was. So that kind of did give me a little bit of comfort to know that other people were on a similar journey to me. This, this wasn't some kind of um, unknown phenomenon that occurs. For me and my weight gain on carnivore, I think it was a bit of a perfect storm of a couple of different factors, which I'm going to touch on. So all of those things I've just discussed then combined with completely trashed hormones and ruined satiety signals, all these things really came into play as to why my body was always going to latch on to whatever nutrition I gave it and perhaps be a little bit hesitant to let go of it. One experience that was part of the first maybe three months of my carnivore journey was going through the process known as priming. And that's where I really realized how badly damaged my, my hunger and satiety signals were. Because the basic tenets of priming are to oversaturate the body with as much nutrition as you can to make sure that you're ready to go forward and be able to do things like fast, safely and appropriately 
and to ensure that your body has the tools that it needs to start healing and rebuilding. And one day I cooked an entire kilo packet of mints into burger patties. And one of the things that is said about priming is that you need to eat like it's your job. And to someone that has the background of extreme portion control and extreme restriction, that was really daunting. Also that, and I couldn't even trust if I was hungry or full because I had damaged myself for years and years. So I sat there with this kilo of burger patties and kept in mind that I really needed to eat until I was full. And I was probably three quarters of the way through the plate and I realized that I was still eating and I wasn't full. And my brain was screaming for me to stop and I burst into tears. And at that moment, I realized that I really had to address the issues that I had with food, my relationship with food, um, and that I had a lot of healing and work to do as far as getting my hormones in check. A lot of us eating and being in control of our eating has been a huge part of our lives. And when you realize on carnivore to an extent, and particularly in the first 90 days, I would say a crucial that you have to let go just allow yourself to get fed, understand what feeling fed is like for the body, understand what nourished is, and just allow yourself to eat until you're full so your signals catch up and they understand. That's a really important process to go through for a lot of people, especially if you come from a history of damage. To have to sit in those uncomfortable moments and basically sit on my hands and not even attempt to tinker with the process that was going on. That was really tough, but it was really important. And I learned a lot of lessons about myself and I had a lot of breakthroughs. So here we are seven months, almost seven months down the road in, in the carnivore journey. And I have gone from 49 kilos to around 53 kilos. And I've gotten square with that because you know what? The number on the scales does not define my journey and all the incredible benefits I'm getting from the carnivore diet. A scale is not going to tell you definitively the difference between fat and muscle, bone density. It doesn't talk to those non-scale victories that we can all talk about for hours on end. You know, how beautiful our skin looks, how amazing our sleep is, our autoimmune conditions are starting to recede just the overwhelming benefits that this diet has to provide that have absolutely nothing to do with that number that we look down at that drives us crazy. Your body does not care that you want to have a ripped six pack and that you feel that you have to project a certain aesthetic look. The body's main priority is keeping you safe, healthy and healing the damage that it has to. For me as well, I found that I was an absolute bottomless pit for months and months, I just, I needed to eat and eat and eat and at least a kilo of meat a day to feel even close to some kind of satiation. And I didn't even look at calories, energy trackers, nothing like that, because I knew that what I was going to see there would possibly freak me out and I didn't want that to impact the work that I had done and the work that I'm continuing to do now. If you find that you have gone carnivore and you are gaining weight, please know that this is not a forever state. It is only temporary and it will happen to you for many, many reasons, some of which I've explained and also because finally for the first time you're probably getting a lot of energy into the body. Sometimes it's more energy than we actually require, so it is going to get stored. But think of it this way, wouldn't you rather go through this temporary transition phase to come out the other side, be carnivore and fat adapted, have some healing under your belt and then look to start tinkering and figuring out what's going to work for you and your body goals. If you come into the carnivore diet with a restrictive mindset, you are only going to set yourself up for failure and disaster. Please don't look at this as your quick fix new weight loss protocol. 
Carnivore, first and foremost, is a health optimization protocol. That's how it should be approached. Healthy weight and healthy set point are a beautiful byproduct. So to those out there that are experiencing perhaps some of the things that I've talked about, can I please say to you, hang in there and hang tough. Buy some stretchy pants, buy a cute little outfit or two that's going to make you feel good while you transition through this phase and know that there is light on the other side. Just allow your body to experience what it's like to be fed for possibly the first time in a very, very long time. I find the more that we push against what the body naturally wants to do, the more stressful it is. You want to keep your stress as low as possible. It's all about keeping that cortisol low, that insulin low. Looking back on my weight gain experience, I'm now actually incredibly thankful for it. My health is in the best space it's been in years and years. I'm practically out of pain. I'm completely off my pain medication. My sleep is remarkable. My mental health has never been so wonderful. And I feel and look like a healthy, happy human being, which is the most important thing to me. And then there are some of you who are on the opposite end of the spectrum. You are absolutely struggling to gain weight on the carnivore diet. I would say the same principles apply to you to allow yourself to eat, get fed, get nourished. If you find that you are perhaps wanting that scale number to bump up at, or you're wanting to see some changes in your body composition, there are definitely things that you can try. If you can tolerate dairy, definitely look to adding that to your meals. A lot of people uh, experience success with weight gain when they add quite a bit of heavy whipping cream. If you're a coffee drinker, feel free to you know make yourself things like bulletproof coffees that can often be helpful for gaining weight. Uh, really prioritize those fatty meals of meat. If you are perhaps over fasting or doing quite a bit of fasting, maybe look to dropping that, adding in multiple meals a day, adding in snacks, anything that you can do to add some more energy into your day. And for both sides of the coin, I would say to you, if you're really struggling and you need the help, there are a myriad of amazing carnivore coaches available. Uh, some of them are on YouTube. Some of them can be found on Instagram. Some of them can be found on Facebook. I know that I have quite a few carnivore coaches that have subscribed to my channel or do watch my content. Can I give a shout out to you coaches? If you would like to pop your services in the comments so that people may reach out to you or get in contact with you, that would be amazing. Because I think, you know, having somebody that has been there, done there, and perhaps has some underpinning credentials or a very lengthy time on this way of eating is going to be really beneficial if you're struggling. So wherever you are on your carnivore journey, know that there is definitely a community out there that is sharing their experiences, sharing their knowledge. And I bet if you look hard enough on some of these pages, you'll find someone that will be saying the exact same thing that you're thinking, feeling, or going through. To my weight gainers on carnivore, please hang in there. Please stick with your journey. You're doing amazing things for your body and for your health. And what's a couple of kilos in the pursuit of finding optimal health? Allow yourself to enjoy your journey. Don't get hung up on numbers, tracking. Don't let that define everything about your health. There is far more to the picture. For me in the beginning, I can definitely tell looking back at my progress pictures that the weight that I did initially gain, most of it was body fat uh, that I quite possibly needed <laughs> to facilitate healing. Uh, but then a couple of months down the track, I could start to see my body recomposition and I could start to see that I was actually gaining some muscle. So like I said, the number on the scale will not be completely telling. I would suggest throughout your journey that you take regular pictures and have a look at those. Those for me have been more important than any tape measure, any scale, anything. It's there in black and white and you can really see the progress that you're making on so many levels. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any experience gaining weight on the carnivore diet or you're looking to gain weight on the carnivore diet, I would love to hear from you. Please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Catch you next time.